Hi everyone, I'm Chad with Take One Film and Video and thank you for joining us back here today. Well here in our studio I'm excited to be showing you guys the Panasonic Multi-Format Live Switcher, the HS450. Now this is the largest switcher in Panasonic's lineup and we're going to be talking about some of its cool features today. So let's jump right in. Uh, the frame itself is relatively small. It's a two rack unit. It comes with two redundant power supplies. So if you lose one of those power supplies in the middle of a production, you're covered because that other one's going to be there to kick right in. Your switcher's not going to go down. The switcher itself comes standard with 16 digital inputs and four digital outputs. Now, uh, it's expandable to up to 20 inputs and 10 outputs with uh, optional modular input and output cards that are available from Panasonic. Now, I should go ahead and tell you that the switcher comes standard with digital only inputs so, uh, and outputs. So if you happen to have DVD players, analog cameras, or something like that that you want to utilize with this switcher, you need to go ahead and be prepared to purchase those additional cards because they do not come standard with the switcher. Uh, but I will mention, however, that there are four channels of up converters built into the switcher, which is cool because if you're shooting, uh, if you have sources that are, say, 525 standard definition and you're wanting to do a 1080 production, there are four channels that you can take into the switcher and it will up convert those to 720 or 1080 or whatever your final output is. Uh, those are built right into the switcher. Uh, the other thing is eight channels of color correction too. So if you have different sources that you're trying to blend together, there are eight channels of color correction that you can use to help blend multiple sources together so you can get a good consistent look. Now on the frame there are two DVI outputs which incorporates a multi-viewer built into the switcher, which is a cool feature because if you've ever priced one of the standalone multi-viewer uh, input, uh, multi-viewer devices, you know how expensive they can be. So this is an extremely useful and cost-effective tool that Panasonic has incorporated into the switcher itself. If you take a look here at our setup, uh, you can see the multi-viewer. Uh, we have two 42-inch Panasonic monitors that we have stacked on top of, each, top of each other so we get a nice large display in front of our switcher here. Now, there are several different presets that you can use uh, in, built into the switcher so that you can get the uh, configuration that you like. I mean, we have the Previum program with eight uh, common sources down here at the bottom and then nine sources up at the top that we can glance up and, and utilize as well. Each of the multi-viewer uh, windows also has individual tallies and preview tallies so that you can see what's on air and what's coming up. You also have customizable labels that you can, you can put. For instance, we have our camera numbers. You can put your camera operator's names. We have our key pros labeled on there. Whatever you want, you can customize those yourself right into the switcher. Uh, moving on here, we'll take a look at the panel itself. Now, the panel is very small and light. You can see it's sitting right here on top of our table. It's a 1ME uh, single T-bar panel. There are 16 cross points, and it's configured like most high-end switchers would be. Uh, your program on the top, your preview at the bottom. And there's a shift key, so you can actually have up to virtually 32 cross points in the panel itself. Um, now, there are two channels of downstream keyers that you can utilize. There's an upstream keyer that has a luminance key and a very powerful chroma keyer as well. Uh, there are two frame stores, which I think is a great feature. If you can look, we have our logo here. Uh, that's one of the channels of the frame store built into the switcher. You can grab a logo off an input source or a still off of a video frame, whatever you want, as long as it's going into the switcher in one of the cross points. You can grab that still, and it stays in your switcher even after you power it off. You power it up, that's still going to be there waiting for you. Um, you have six user functions that you can, you can do uh, customizable you shortcut keys here on your switcher itself. Of course, you have all your traditional things that we're not going to talk a lot about today, like uh, wipes and transitions and so forth that you would expect on any switcher. This switcher, of course, has all of that, but uh, uh, we won't talk too much about that. A couple more things I want to mention. Uh, it has two picture-in-picture -picture channels. So you can actually have two sub-windows sub, uh, in your frame that you can position uh, any size you want and you can use your positioner joystick here to position those anywhere onto the uh, screen itself. Uh, now speaking of the positioner joystick, a cool feature that Panasonic has utilized is easy integration with Panasonic's pan and tilt zoom robotic cameras. So if you are one man show at a, at a church or somewhere like that, you can, you, you can control those cameras with your positioner onto the switcher. Makes it very useful and easy especially if you're working with a very limited uh, crew. 
Um, everything else is laid out very well. It's a very easy menu to go through. You can actually display it on your multi-viewer if you want to. But overall, it's an extremely powerful switcher. Uh, our customers have been loving it. We love having it here, and we're excited to share that with you today. Uh, there's a lot more that we don't have time to cover, but if you do have questions about this switcher, please give us a call at 1-877-81-TAKE-1. You can also find us on the web at www.take1.tv. Well, thanks again for joining us today. We hope to see you back here again soon.